So what is Metcalfe's Law in Network Economics? And the basic idea here is as the number of people in a network expands, the number of possible connections that each person can make within the network expands exponentially. Now, when we're talking about networks here, we're talking about social media where a node is a person and a connection is a one-to-one -one connection between other people or the number of possible groups that could form, that kind of thing. But it could also be a marketplace, like an online marketplace such as Amazon, where the nodes are the buyers and the sellers. It could be a dating app where the nodes are number of people, the connections are possible matches. So basically you've got nodes, which are individual things in a network, and you've got connections which connect them. And that can be one-to-one -one or that can be group connections. And there's actually a formula we can use to figure out as this network expands from three people to four people to five people, how many different one-to-one -one connections is there in the network? The formula is n times n minus one over two. So if we have three people in the network, we should have one, two, three different connections. Does that meet the formula? Well, we've got three times two over two, that's three. Let's add another node. So here we've got four, n equals four nodes, and the number of possible connections is one, two, three, four, five, six. And so that's four times three divided by two. Is that six? Yes, it is. And of course, we could add other nodes and test the formula. The formula is going to work. And you can see that this formula is not exactly n squared, but as n approaches infinity, this approaches n squared. So yeah, exponential growth in the number of connections as you increase the number of nodes. That's the idea. Now, why this matters in network economics is because if we think about competition and you have two firms where one firm is twice as big as the other firm, um, that firm isn't halfway there to competing with the, the bigger firm. It's actually way, way behind because, of course, a firm that's twice as big, when you uh, look at exponential patterns, they're way, way, way more valuable in terms of how many different people you can connect with on the network. Now, why does this matter so much in network economics? Well, this principle basically captures network effects. And network effects are basically where um, the bigger the network, like the more people on a social media app or the more people on, you know, a marketplace, an online marketplace, the more valuable that is to every single individual to come on the network. So it means that it's really, really hard for social media companies to catch up to competitors if they're behind because having twice as many users means you're exponentially more valuable to new users than, uh, than the network who's behind by half. And this relates to demand side economies of scale and it's why it's really hard for uh, new startups and new social media companies to compete. As a matter of fact, let's use this formula to do some comparisons. So a social media company with 50 users has uh, 1,225 possible connections between users, but a social media company that's twice that big has 4,950, almost four times as many uh, possible connections. And this same pattern repeats as these companies get bigger and bigger and bigger. So you can see um, comparing these two in terms of how valuable the network is, given that the value of many of these networks depends on how many connections you can make with people, that value is way, way bigger for a company that's just a little bit bigger.